we've still got loads of great stuff coming up um, with how to guide bottle festivals that we're not even going to. That's how nice we are. Uh, unfortunately, this is the last festival of our summer. Bloodstock. The UK's biggest independent metal festival. A festival that I've wanted to go to for over 10 years. I know we said we were done with festival season, but we just couldn't pass on the opportunity to finally experience it for ourselves. Join us as we experience the highs, the lows, the Vikings. Will this legendary festival live up to the hype? There's only one way to find out. We have made it to Bloodstock, finally, after over what, a decade of me wanting to come to this festival. Finally here, after a two hour drive that took four hours and a half hour walk that took an hour and a half. It was partly my fault because it's very warm. It is all my fault because it's very warm. But we sat down now. We haven't even got the tent set up yet. It's half five. We've been traveling for six and a half hours. Sticking with the water because I'm 31 now. You've got to look after yourself. Second that tent's up, we're getting pissed. Hello. So Cam's finally all set up. We're finally here at Bloodstock 2023. After a very long time of wanting to come to this festival, Johnny's been before. Uh, we finally sat down, about to have the first drink. Well, Johnny started already, but about to have the first drink at the festival. Cheers. Now, at the start of this video, I do want to point out that we've been given the great opportunity to come as um, media accreditation this year. So we want to say a massive thank you to Bloodstock and all the team for having us. Um, and for giving us the, the VIP treatment. Um, and thank you to everybody else for, for watching these silly little videos because we wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So uh, thank you to everybody. Thank you to Bloodstock as well. And here's to a great weekend. You haven't poured this, so I have to take it. What's poured? If you've poured it out, yeah. I can't. It's, Why, what's wrong with it? it's only me third. What's wrong with it? It's, it's up to there. <laughs> I drink it slow. Well, someone spilled their beer in my drink, so I'm going to mix it. Beer and rum. Yeah, yeah, because I said it was nice. It was this year. It was this year. Beer and rum. Please, someone in our group, please tell me who it was, because someone mixed their beer with my rum, and I said it was fucking lovely. Holy shit. Taste that. It's weirdly nice, isn't it? Do you know what that is nice? If anyone knows what Morgan Spice, Coke, and Budweiser is mixed, if it's got a name, please tell us in the comments below. Because this is probably something really, really obvious nice. that we've just like, we're too drunk to know. Probably something really, really obvious. And you like know what? Probably... If it's not already a drink, it fucking should be. So we're gonna trademark, trademark in it. Give it a name. Uh, Rumweiser. Bud rum, rum wise, no, uh, bud rum just sounds like something like you'd say if you got diarrhea, doesn't it? It's currently about half eight, and even though it's like starting to get a little bit dark and it's late in the day, and I know that it's late in the day, it's uh, because we didn't get in till so late. It it doesn't really feel like we've been here that long, so we're still kind of in the pre or the, the post camp setup mode. Um, but it's it's clear that things are going to start happening soon. So we've just been like having a couple of tinnies and and vibing a little bit, saying hello to people walking past. And you, you, like, similar to 2000 Trees, you can tell straight away that it's a very, because it's a lot smaller than some festivals, um, you can tell that it's like a community thing and you know, you're gonna get on with people and stuff. And it's, it is really nice, it's a lovely atmosphere. Um, and we wanna go and do stuff, but we've, we've got a few people coming to camp with us 
who were just waiting on getting here. And then after that, the certain cocktail of the um, Jägermeister variety is being made. But before that, I feel like I need to go to Fat Frank's and get my air bed blown up. Bedding acquired for only two pound, because see yeah, Fat Frank's, this is not sponsored by Fat Frank's. <laughs> <laughs> as punishment, it's only. Ah, well, as they say, has struck. The <laughs> Gibbo's well, got his fucking ass stuck. I know, I was a dickhead. There we go. Yeah, I oh. know, I was a dickhead, right? But. Oh. So the rest of our campmates are no longer our campmates, they're camping yeah, they in, in hell. hell. They all <laughs> go to hell. Do you get it? Because the campsite is called Hell. If you know anything about Norse mythology, all the campsites at Budstock have like names that are relevant to Norse mythology. We're in we're in Jotunheim, uh, which is the land of the frost giants. Ironically, it was fucking roasting this afternoon. General start. And we're in the arena for the first and we're Anyway, as I was saying before I was really interrupted by the fudge bus. Which is a which is a welcome sight to see after not seeing it at download. Uh, we're finally in the arena at Bloodstock. There's, there's some bands going on there, that's the Sophie Lancaster stage. We're in the VIP mate and Guns and Roses are playing. <laughs> believe we've just seen the actual Guns N' Roses. I'm, I'm just, I haven't, I haven't processed it. It's just, there's, a, there's only one thing that's going to calm me down. Ladies and gentlemen, and both or neither, for the second time this summer, it is time for the Jaeger Nuke. To make one, you will need one bottle of Jägermeister. And although it used to be energy drink, I'm now in my 30s, so it has to be Pepsi Max. And once again, there you have the Jaeger Nuke. More? Uh -huh. Where's the money, Lebowski? <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to help me get rid of all this because I've got three litres of Jaeger bomb left before we're allowed to go in the arena. The winners and the losers kissed. After sampling the local delicacies of bin jousting and wandering aimlessly around the site getting pissed, um, I've decided to retire the Jaeger for tonight. We are about to head into the arena because there's uh, San Francisco and a couple of other DJ sets going on. Never say die. Well, I suppose you can say die because I just said it. And I said it again. Song was sending that people made it didn't actually sound anything like this song. This is just a Toyota Corolla! Three Toyota fucking Corollas! There's some things in life that are certain. Death, taxes, and electric cowboy being played at a disco. As a first time Bloodstocker, 
I'm, 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 I'm very impressed. It's, uh, it is very similar to, not musically, but it's very similar atmospherically to 2000 Trees. Like I fell in love with 2000 Trees on the first day. And then Andy fell in love with 2000 Trees on the first day this year. And again, Bloodstock is very much that same kind of festival where, where I already know that I'm gonna come again next year. It's just a great atmosphere. Everyone's very friendly. One of the great things about this festival though is uh, what the locals call tree parties. And it's, it's exactly what it says on the tin. You stand under a tree and you have a party. What, what is Bloodstock to you? Oh, Bloodstock, it's, um, it's the togetherness. Like all the, all the fans are like fucking varied music, but like a, a basic first choice. All just getting together and appreciating like fucking purely metal. The love and appreciation of music and music styles and it's all just fucking, sorry, all just appreciating that energy all under the mighty tree. This is for all. The mighty tree. The mighty tree. Let's go. It's a Jaeger bomb, but it's five liters. Ah! My name's Callum, I'm from South Wales, a bit west of Cardiff. This is the cleanest mix of Jägermeister that I've ever had in my life. Bloodstock, baby! Yeah! Mike, you've not got your top off yet. Everyone else has been in there. For some reason, it's half five in the morning and we're all going to lick this tree. Did you just lick Feel like I'm going to die. Come here then. Chunder. Never give me alcohol again. I can't find my sunglasses and I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's very important to baby wipe behind your ears if you're feeling a bit warm and sweaty and gunky. Um, and I've said this for a while now, but I've only recently learned the science behind it and it turns out that so when when you body sweat when your body sweats um, it gives off heat obviously and then behind your ear there's like two bits of skin that there's no escape for it there's no escape for the heat so you get this like yeah it's like gunky build up and that's why you feel a bit no. Coming up next, here's some stuff and here's some things. You don't have to put me in it. There you go. You spend an absolute fortune on these stalls. I always knew the arena at Bloodstock was quite close and everything's quite compact. Uh, but I wasn't really prepared for like, there's the main stage there. And then you've got the Sophie stage there, New Blood stage there, and then just there, that white tent there, that's the Jägermeister stage. Really cool vibe. It's a very, very nice community, very lovely people. <laughs> That is pretty cool, that. You can just pick up a guitar and start playing. I won't have a go, but I'm also terrible at guitar. There's a lot of people here today dressed in pink, and that's because uh, of the fancy dress theme, which is uh, Pink for Sylvia, in honor of uh, Sylvia Lancaster, who, who uh, passed away last year, unfortunately. <laughs> the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is, is here every year. The, so the second stage is named after Sophie. Um, so we're gonna go over to the tent and uh, have a chat with, with some of the crew. And, and see what's what. Maybe even buy a t-shirt as well. The Serpent's Lair VIP toilets are quite nice, but it's very, very hot. It was like sitting in a sauna. But let's just say that there wasn't enough to finish the job. So we're heading back to camp to finish the job and I'll let you uh, work out yourselves.
but it's it's not my ideal situation but sometimes you need to do what needs to be done yesterday was a really long day and we drank a lot very quickly and then it was a really long night and so today with the heat as well it kind of killed us off a bit we just had a nap we're going to head down to the Sophie tent in a minute and uh, cause there's a big gathering of everybody who's wearing pink for the Pink for Sylvia day and I only have one pink item of clothing <laughs> Put a bit too much salt on these chips. As you might have noticed, I'm wearing a um, a battle jacket, and I wanted to, one of these for about ten years, and just never bothered to start it. But I thought Bloodstock is kind of synonymous with that, so uh, I thought, what better place to start it than here? So I've, I've gone and got some patches, Motorhead one there with Lemmy on it, a nice Alter Bridge one, Sabaton, of course, and. The very last electric cowboy one, a very special one. But now it's just about finding space for everything on there and then uh, add into the collection the more festivals we do. So if anyone knows any like really nice rare ones or anything, then let me know down below. Hey, share the now this is a Christmas present. I've got to say something real once. We are uh, we fucking love you guys. <laughs>
had a little bit of time uh, in between bands, sat in the VIP area there, and then like in flames, just walked past. It's a little bit surreal, but thank you to every single person that, that watches these videos because we're here because of, of your support. Um, and thank you to the Bloodstock team again, like I said, because now we're about to watch a band that I've followed for, for years, a band that I absolutely love. Bloodstock! People like going to shows, they come early, they want to just stand in the front, and they actually just piss themselves because they don't want to go to the bathroom. Because that guy is fucking smart. He brought a fucking jug, he was polite, he just fucking pissed in the jug. When he's ready to empty it, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go that way. I fucking love it. That was awesome. I just saw another piss jug. free tickets for next year's festival is very enticing. I do have the weight advantage, I suppose. 
But I am going to be sick. One of the cool things about Bloodstock as a, as a festival, like in general as an organisation, is that they announce um, the bands and the headliners straight away. Like it's the Friday of Bloodstock this year, and we already know two of the headliners for next year. Uh, Architects have been announced, which, uh, yeah, perfect. And Amon Amarth, uh, Flogging Molly, Malevolent. So, uh, sign me up for next year already. It's typical that we walk all the way to the other end of literally the entire site from where we're camped to the. Through the site, through the arena, and all the way to the Blood. And they fucking shut. Literally, uh, literally, there, it's there, stood outside the tent. Closed now, music's off, sorry. The playing drink by Alestorm in uh, the VIP bar and we've just paid £6 for a pint but you also have to play the drinking game I'd just like to point out the absolute bigotry that Johnny's just suffered at the hands of the, uh, the girl working at the burger van. Just because he couldn't pronounce the word burger. It's, it's not our fault, with Scouts. B-E-R-G-A. That's burger. how you spell burger. Yeah. So, Andy. Burger, not burger. burger. There's no fucking you in burger. Burger. Five letters, B-E-R-G-A. Well, that was definitely well needed, the early night on the lion ready for a long day and then we sugar a bucket list band unreal absolutely unreal this morning i got lazy and thought i'll piss in the pepsi bottle but knowing later in my drunken mistake this might appear to be a pepsi bottle which one is the piss But then again, I've drank that much rum, that will probably smell and taste like rum. I think I've just had the nicest festival poo I've ever had in my life. Very open, very nice breeze coming through, lots of light. You take in a cup of sawdust and then you throw that in to clean up afterwards. It's a very nice idea. And now that's out of the way, it means there's more room for alcohol. Just because it's a metal festival doesn't mean you can't be a bit silly. It's once again raining at a festival. Uh, I think I did the wrong thing by asking for rain all those all those weeks ago at download because now we've had two downpours. It's a good job that this is this is a sturdy tent with a with a with a nice porch. Sturdy? I'm well I say sturdy. I'm, I, so, I'm holding it up yeah. I put it up so it's sturdy. Run forest run Mr. Blue Sky Fudge bus! We've just been given a sticker inviting us to the world record attempt for a wall of chaos, whatever that is. But it's half ten on a Sunday morning. Now, depending if tonight goes well or not, I'm not going to be awake by half ten on a Sunday morning. We're heading down to the New Blood stage to catch a band called Blood Boys, uh, who I covered in my Bands That You Need To See uh, Bloodstock video. They're on the New Blood stage because they won their heat of Metal To The Masses. Yeah. We've come to Lemmy's bar um, and we saw that they were doing four pints. Now what I wasn't expecting is that it comes with a fucking milk chug. I suppose that is a good way to measure four pints. This is 7.5% cider, four pints of it. 24 quid, not a bad deal at all for festival prices. It's become a bit of a, a catchphrase on this channel, but this is not going to end well. I'm not fucking down in that, no way.
See you all next time. Such a great idea, the new blood stage. That every single festival should have a, fe a stage like this, where it's just unsigned bands being given the opportunity to prove themselves alongside some of the biggest names around. Yeah, this is what every festival should be doing. Every festival should be promoting the next yeah. the next generation of headliners. If you want to buy a t-shirt from a festival, get just on the first go on the first day. Yeah, go on the first Don't make day. the same mistakes that we did. We're watching the only band that are on Bloodstock and Reading and Leeds somehow. It's not loose. We're only here to see the half half. <laughs> Sorry that I asked the rain. We're just on the other. It is it's too wet for the half-half. Ronnie James Dio stage. And there's Mexican girl. For the second festival in a row, I am going to Barnaby Sykes Pie Maker. This video is not sponsored by Barnaby Sykes. Now there's a band on this lineup called Troll Fest. They were very uh, off paper. I think they were like some very like Viking metal band. Instead, look at this. Saturday night headliners from Sugar. I've been waiting to see these for 15, 20 years. This is like a bucket list band for me. And we wouldn't be here this weekend without you guys to watch this band. So thank you so much to every single person for watching these silly little stupid videos. Because we wouldn't be here to see this right now and have this once in a so far of a lifetime experience. If you're ever compelled when you're watching Sugar or you'll be listening to Sugar to do the Sugar face, I'm gonna teach you right now how to do it. So what you want to do is, you want to tilt your head down and then you want to look up and then you want to stick your chin out as far as it'll go. So it's something like this.
guys here. It's a goddamn pleasure to be back here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. in your life that are truly bucket list moments, moments that you'll remember forever and that means so much and that was one of them and it's because of you watching this right now that we get to do this, that we're here this weekend and that I will never ever take that for granted because that is so important to me, it's so special to me and it's because of you in April it was 37 subscribers and now there's over a thousand of you guys and I hope that you enjoy the journey that we're on because I certainly am um, so before I get overcome with emotion I'm just gonna go and get pissed tonight's entertainment the binge house dinner has been replaced with uh, uh, apparently this, apparently people this, just jumping uh, into uh, shit as this lady says they're jumping into the poo poo wiped he's it. officially lubricated I've, Jonathan I've wiped it but I got lubed up by a man with a gun. <laughs> so, um, there was a bit of an incident in the campsite tonight, uh, which I won't go into details of out of respect, but also we haven't filmed a lot of stuff in the campsite out of respect for the same thing. So, um, we've we finished the cider jugs. We're going to go back to camp. Almost. Replenish our drinks. Almost. One of us has finished the, the sure cider few. jugs. Uh, we're going to go back to camp, replenish our drinks, and go for a wander and see what we can do. I want to see! In in typical Scouts fashion, once we socialise, uh, we often get asked, asked to say certain phrases. Axed. <laughs> axed, yeah, that's one of those those phrases we often get axed, axed to say. If you can't tell, by the way, I'm quite drunk. Can of coke and chicken. Chicken. <laughs> right, now you boys do it. Fucking can of coke and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it rolls, let, it, let it roll off your tongue. Chicken and a can of coke. It's one, it's one syllable. One syllable is all you need. Chicken and a can of coke. Gonna let it roll off your tongue. Chicken and a can of coke. Chicken and a can of coke. This this channel's gonna turn into a fucking language channel. <laughs> the age of the binge host is over. The age of the on the shoulders wrestling is about to begin. <laughs> If you're watching this and you're thinking, what 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 is Bloodstock? What is Bloodstock Festival? Uh, this next clip will sum it up completely entirely. So we're having a discussion. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Is it? Is it? What what constitutes a sandwich? Bread.
to a quarter past seven a.m. Not sensible night. Again, it's not my fault. Who would have thought that I would actually play through fire and flames at a festival? Not me. Good night. Uh, I want to say good morning, but it's actually the afternoon. Something I didn't realise about those toilets as well is that the um, the the waste, for lack of a better phrase, actually gets turned into compost. So my boo is poo is so actually saving the planet. Because it's Sunday, we, we decided to come for a Sunday roast. And I think we've been defeated. I went from being severely hungover to being less hungover, but also very bloated. Absolutely gorgeous food, uh, and uh, as, as is tradition, you come for a roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding on a Sunday at a festival. But I'm just, if I have any more, I'm going to be sick, and that's not going to be fun for anyone. Unless you want to see that, in which case, uh, cue the next clip. One of the other staples of Bloodstock Festival is the, uh, the, the Viking reenactments. And it looks quite violent, to be honest. Officially sweary right about now. There's one last band and it's Megadeth. A band I've not seen for eight years and Johnny's never I've seen. Never, I've never seen. The only one of the big four I've not seen. Another bucket list night. Again, thank you to every single person because we wouldn't be able to do this without you lot. For the final time this weekend, we've come to Lemmy's Bar. We've got a pint that I've just spilt all over myself to watch Megadeth, the last band of the weekend. Uh, Dave Mustaine, if you're watching this, I apologise in advance for the impression of you that I'm about to do.
Long. This is what happens when they take the bins away. search for bins for one final night of bin We've reached an agreement with security that we can take the bins as long as they're not behind any fences or anything that no one's done damaging any infrastructure we've, we've come to a compromise we've reached a treaty and so that's that's what we've got to abide by We've been at this for two hours now. We've been at this for two hours now. And I've been given the nickname Buddy the Elf. And you know what? I'm just going to embrace it. We were on the verge of having an early night. The mad stuff that people get up to, all in the name of Hypnotoad. Just the most random bit of fun. So we've come back to camp to get some drinks while the procession is, is, is about to pass us. Don't rub in the eye! We can't find bins, so it's now turned into pillow fights. It's happened twice this weekend and I can't get it off.
So it's uh, quarter past four. The pillow fights are still going on, but the, 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 the cut. The, yeah, that we couldn't find the bins, so After we resorted to shoulder wrestling, and then we resorted to pillow fights. What a night! Four hours of walking around the campsite just looking for shit to do, and and the stuff that human beings can come up with is is incredible. I mean, I've probably just made them worse. There's an episode of The Simpsons in which Krusty the Clown makes a racist joke. And I'm not going to repeat that racist joke because that would mean I'm telling a racist joke. Um, but it involves a Thai pull. I think you can tell which one I mean uh, with a racist accent. And in that episode, he gets cancelled. And as far as I'm aware, that's the first instance of cancel culture. But if you can think of another earlier example, let me know down below because... Me Good morning. We are uh, just getting ready to go. As you can see, everybody else has pretty much left. We've uh, done quite well at keeping our campsite tidy. We've got everything into bin bags. Don't forget that as you leave festivals, it's important to leave no trace. So as you can see there, for the most part, the campsite looks like it did when we arrived. Uh, so put your stuff into bin bags as you're leaving your site and then either either leave them in the bags at your site ready for be uh, ready for collection or take them to the recycling point that are available on site. I am too tired to now walk with all my gear to the car. So that was Bloodstock Festival 2023. We are now home and fed and showered, hence the, the towel. Uh, I'm just about to start work on the edit of the video that you've just watched. But I just want, want to take a few minutes just to say thank you so much again to every single person that, that supports what we do here and what we're trying to do in the future. And thank you so much to Bloodstock for having us. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic weekend. Uh, it was my first Bloodstock, but it will not be my last. So it has officially sold me on, on coming back. Uh, the atmosphere is great. Thank you so much to everyone who came up and said hello this weekend. Uh, and again, thank you for all your support on this incredible journey that's been going on over the last few months, especially. It's, it's such an insane thing to go from 37 subscribers and doing it just as a kind of as and when kind of thing to to being um invited to to events like this so i couldn't do any of this we couldn't do any of this without the support from all you lot so it, it's it's really impossible to put it into words right now because i'm still recovering you might be able to tell because of my voice um but genuinely, sincerely, thank you so much to every single person. It, it means the absolute world. So that's our festival season done now. Um, at least the one that what we'll go into. We've got a couple of videos about festivals coming up for the rest of the summer. Still got loads more to come though. Um, one of the things we're trying to do this year on this channel is just try new things and see what works, what doesn't work, what kind of videos that we want to make moving forward and the kind of things that you guys want to see. So let us know um, if there's anything you want to see us do. We are thinking of doing kind of like festival prediction videos. There'll be like a, a summer recap that's coming soon as well. Obviously the vlogs are staying um, and the everything you need to know before certain festivals, as many as we can get done for next summer. So yeah, lots of, lots of new stuff coming, lots of exciting stuff that we're all working on. And we would love to have you join us on that journey. So please uh, hit that big red button just there, just there, uh, and subscribe. Once again, thank you, and as always, I will see you in the next one.